Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge, and today we're coming to you from InterSolar 2024, the International Solar Conference here in San Diego, California. And this afternoon I'm joined by Andrew Aldama from uh, Anchor, and we're going to be looking at the Anchor Solix Solar and Storage Solution. So, uh, Andrew, it's really nice meeting you. Thanks for joining us this afternoon. Yeah, for sure. Thank you. All right. Now, as you know, this is a space that has seen a lot of new products pop up over the past year. In fact, we've seen probably half a dozen new battery products ourselves since we've been at the conference uh, starting yesterday. Uh, tell us about the Anchor Solar Solution. I know Anchor's a company that I'm familiar with. Yeah. Um, personally, I own some of the smaller consumer electronics. Yes. I just bought a Bluetooth speaker not too long ago. But tell us about the Anchor Solix offering in the solar plus storage space. What are the major system components and how does it work? Yeah, for sure. So, so this is the Anchor Solix one. This is Anchor Solution to the home energy storage, right? Of course, you know, we're we're in the competition as well. But uh, yeah, so this as it, this is going to be our product. So it's going to be like an all-in-one solution, right? We have the battery module um, in the bottom, and then we have the power module, which is the inverter, right? So this system is scalable from five kilowatt hours to 180 kilowatt hours, right? So um, the key thing about this system that is very modular, right? So if a homeowner wanted to start at a you know at a smaller level, they can go ahead and stack up you know as they need or you know however they want. So one thing that we we do have an advantage on, right, is because it's modular, you know, um, a, a crew of two can go ahead and install this versus the competition. You know, they're very heavy, very heavy in size. So you need a couple of people to go ahead and you know pick up the battery and mount them um, a, a lot of um, another key feature that we have too is the um, the capability um, so we have this screen on top here that lets you go ahead and see what's going on with the system right so when a power outage happens most of the time it's difficult to see what your system is doing off grid right so sometimes you don't have Wi-Fi connection you don't have so you don't have visibility of the system so this allows you to see what the system is doing so our screen here it's motion activated so as soon as you walk by near it it's going to go ahead and turn on and it's going to tell you what the information is going on. So right now it shows on grid and it shows a white light. When it's off grid, it's gonna show you a blue light and it's gonna show you pretty much the estimated time of how much power you have left or how much energy you have left. And it's also gonna show you the SOC and what the house is doing as far as consumption. So that's a cool feature. Um, another great feature about this product is that inside the battery modules, we have heating packs that allow, allow the, the inverter to charge and cool temperatures like negative four up to 131 Fahrenheit. So, I mean, yes, other competitors can do that as well, but because of our heating, we can we can perform at 100% at negative four degrees. So, so this will allow us to charge at 100% capacity or 100% of power during those cold temperatures. So, so that's a big plus. So, Andrew, I understand what we have here with the power module. So, this is doing your your um, inversion. And then you said each battery module is five kilowatt hours. Yes. Is that correct? Now, what battery chemistry are you using? So, this, this battery chemistry is LFP. Okay, so we're using the newer iron phosphate chemistry. And one of the downsides, of course, is it's a little bit heavier, a little bit more bulky. Correct. How heavy is each individual component? What's the, what's the maximum weight of each individual component? So each battery module is about 100 pounds. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's still smaller than some of the others. You know, one of the issues we had with some of the first generation, second generation batteries was the battery itself was like one piece. Correct. And that piece might weigh 200, 300, some even up to 400 pounds, which can be very cumbersome for the installer. Just logistically, how do you get that battery to the site? How do you mount it on the wall? What's the labor required on the install crew to be able to properly set that battery? So is this a battery that you could say safely can be installed with a two-person crew? Yes, that is correct. Okay, because that's one of the things, I think one of the bigger issues that's going on right now that we're trying to figure out as an industry, particularly those contractors out there, is how can we install solar with batteries as profitably, as predictably, as easily as we could install just solar grid tied only um, in the past? And so what are some of the other design features that go into making a more faster, efficient installation? Well, it's the simplicity, the, 
simplicity of, of the design and the way it was constructed, right? So it's giga casting in the product, so it's very, very durable. It's one piece, it's, it's not multiple pieces, you know, so it's one battery module, you don't have to put a case or anything like that. So it's one battery module with one bracket. So it's very easy to install, very easy to mount. We also have a template that comes in the packaging that allows you to mark all your holes and that allows you to pretty much mount this very fast. Great. Now I see you have the, the Anchor Solux micro inverter here as well. How does the micro inverter system fit with the solution? Is it is it where you can do a micro inverter or a DC coupled or is it a micro inverter only solution currently as far as how the solar ties in? Yeah, so as far as PV, the it's going to be AC coupled PV. So if you, you if you want to use our Anchor Solux micro, you can, but if you have um, let's say anything else, you can go ahead and retrofit this system with any PV system that you have as long as it's AC coupled. Okay, so you can take AC output from Anchor Solux microinverters or let's say other microinverters or other, other central inverters. Any micros or any other DC inverters, right, you can pair it on the AC side. So after the DC inverter, you can plug it into our controller. Excellent. Now I see over here what looks to be like a gateway or a transfer switch. Tell us about, first of all, is this, uh, can this be installed in a whole house backup configuration or is it critical loads only? And, and how does how does the the um, how does the controller or the gateway work here? Sure. So our controller is very similar to what's out there. It's 200 amps pass through, right? So yes, you can do full home backup. You can do partial home backup. You know, you can do those two configurations, no problem. So uh, so we also have a non backup loads in here. So if you have, let's say, you want to do a partial home backup or a full home backup, and you have some loads that you don't want to you don't want to carry through because you know. It, um, your battery system might not be able to cover that, you can connect them to the non-backup loads, therefore when the system disconnects or when you create your microgrid, those loads will be shedded. Right, right. And this is something that we've talked about in the past, folks. You know, if you're, you're talking about how can you stretch the battery runtime in a, in a grid down scenario, there are certain non-essential heavy load items that you might not want to try to power at all. Um, think maybe electric oven or electric clothes dryer. You know, these are nice to have appliances, but if you're in an emergency situation, you really don't want to have those, those, those large heating elements running and drawing your battery down where maybe you want to preserve some battery for your refrigerator or lights or other, you know, more critical items, right? Yes, correct. And we, we also have generator integration, right? So we can do about 100 amps of generator integration. Then we, we can do 100 amps of PV or 200% PV to ESS ratio. Right, so that's another thing that we have that is you know, higher than our competitors in a way. Instead of 1.5, we can go up to 200%. Great. Yeah, now, you know, that, that generator tie is, is an important piece as well, especially for those out there that want maximum redundancy, maximum yeah. resiliency. You know, one of the things I recommend is if you have the ability to hook up a fuel burning generator to back up your, your battery or to back up your solar, that way, if you lose power and for whatever reason, let's say you have overcast weather for a long period of time, so the solar is not keeping up to recharge the battery, you fire up the generator for a couple of hours, let the generator power the house and be recharging the battery at the same time, so that way you can then switch back to running off battery power. So it helps you conserve fuel as well. Yes. And of course, typically what the homeowner is going to be using is the app. What can you tell us about the Anchor Solix app? What features are available? What can the homeowner configure? Sure. So, so we're going to have three different platforms for the app. One, one of the platforms is going to be to commission the system, right? So this is going to allow the installer to commission the system, you know, and then we're going to have the other app is going to be for the consumer, the, the homeowner, you know, going to be um, the owner will be able to view the system, you view the data, view the live information, what's going on with the house. Then the other platform will be more of a troubleshooting homepage for the installer. It's, it's more of a web-based and uh, you'll be able to monitor, you'll be able to remotely start the systems. You, it's, it's the database for the installer to pretty much have control of the full system. Great, great. Well, Andrew, is there anything else that the audience should know about the Anchor Solux platform? Well, yeah, if, if you want to find out more information about our system, please go to anchor, A-N-K-E-R.com, and you can find more information about us. 
Now, is this a product that you're going to be selling directly to installers, or do you plan to, to, to go through distribution? So we are planning to go through distribution first, right? So uh, that's going to be our plan. Our plan is to start, you know, in California, Texas, in Florida, but we are going to be nationwide. Great. And as far as installers out there, I know a number of the installers that are out there watching this, they, they know that if they haven't offered batteries in the past, they pretty much have to now. We're talking about NEM 3.0 here yeah. in California. Um, where would an installer go to get information, or is there, is there like a certified installer program that they would have to go through? Yes, so we are, we are going to go through installer certified program where the installer has to get certified, of course, to install our product, but we are going to provide training for installers, so, you know, sales training, installation training, and any training that they need for the system. So, Excellent. Okay. Well, folks, this has been an introduction to the new Anchor Solix X1 and V1, the uh, solar storage and EV charger integrated solution. Uh, folks, by the way, the reason we're here in San Diego at Inner Solar is to make sure that you have the most up-to-date, the latest product information as far as solar technology that's available. So if you're getting good value from these videos, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Um, also, go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well if you haven't done so already. That way, as we have these new videos coming out from the conference, um, it'll come up on your feed and you can stay up to date with everything that's going on. But that pretty much does it for today's video. I uh, thank you all for spending some more time with Solar Surge. And as always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.